Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to XCOM, the Army of Four attempt. Uh, we are going to France for potential 200 credits. We are taking Dubois with uh, three medkits, Ostrowski with two rockets, Allegni and Cyrus with another rocket. I think we can, well, with three rockets we Strike should one. be okay, but we're probably gonna run into France is sending an urgent mission a bunch of sectoids. This is kind of a scary Local one. Government. This is kind of scary because the full cover is not always full cover. What I mean by that? Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. What I mean by that is, if you if we get to the um, the fuel pumps, then sometimes they'll blow up, <laughs> and that's bad news. Roger, I've got my eyes All right, on. so we're just we're gonna try and get a leg me up to the top for obvious reasons. I don't. I've been thinking too. Like I don't know if squad sight something I want to take. Um, I don't know if that's the best strategy for an army of four thing. It might be better off to take um, the snapshot. So that we can shoot after we move. Any what's going on? Why is it so dark? I affirmative. Okay. Weird. Headed there now. Oh, I'm on it. On Okay. I like me. Okay. Come on up. There we go. That didn't take long. Uh, they're gone. So my recommendation is just to hold tight. Oh, really? If they all gather together, ah, they spread out super wide. They're trying to flank us. That is kind of unfortunate. I can't do anything against that. And we're flanked. By like, we're flanked by a couple of them actually. Okay, we're gonna need to be, we're gonna need to try and kill these. Yep, there's one. He's down. Dubois. Oh, no, that's not going to help if I go out there. If I could go right there, that would be nice. That's also not going to help. If I go here, I'm leaving myself wide open to this guy. And I hate to do this, but I might have to rocket this and take him out. I really don't want to, but I think I have to. Can I even get through? I can't. These things are going to block me. Really? Oh, no. Here we go. We can do this. Eat this. Whoa. Okay. I know it's at 0%, but I thought just get in the bubble. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Jesus. That was a waste. Now... Well, at least, look, we cleared a giant path here. Can I see this guy from here? That's the question. Yes. Come on. Okay, that worked out. I really wanted him gone, so that worked out. They're trying to pull back. Now we've got four that we know of. A pair over here. These guys are gonna pair up. That's fine, you can hang out there. Who are you gonna go after? That's the question. You're gonna probably go after Dubois. Oh no, you're going up top. I don't think so. Nobody hits Ostrowski, nobody. Now, where is this guy? He is like, 
He's further back than we can even tell, really. Or is he? All right, we have a couple decent shots here. Let's go here. Let's try to take the critical. Come on. There we go. Eight. Oh, wow. Okay. That's affirmative. All right. Miley, it's 42. Do what you can. I can't believe that just hit, but I'll totally take it. And... It's possible that we can hit this guy. Getting it done. Do we have a better chance with the pistol? No, it's, it's the same, but... Hey, we just hit with a 43% chance. Why not do it again? Okay, fine. Damn it. Nice. Bye bye. Okay, that leaves one left out there. Yikes. Oh, they blew- oh, they blew our sign up! I don't like that. I'm gonna just try to take this- oh, that'll work. I'm comfortable doing that because of the rest of the guys being able to have a shot as well. Ready to engage. Let's, um... Let's, let's reload this. everybody. Oh, yeah! Not gonna get that meld. Maybe we can get the other stuff that we find. Which happens to be this way. I'm on it, Commander. I just instinctively moved to full cover, even though he doesn't need to be. Aye, aye, Commander. So I in reality I should have had those two switched. Now I can get up here. Which isn't a bad idea, but we only have half cover to deal with. So I'm going to actually just stay down below. Double time. Covering now. On Okay, straight ahead. Did you hear something? On the move. Back here. I don't like half cover, Getting like, out. ever. I'm on it, Commander. It actually makes me, like, ill. <laughs> I get a knot in my stomach just having these guys sitting here right now. Especially on a car. I'm on the move. Okay, that's good. Your stomach Headed there now. Nice. We're safe so far. Heading to that location. On Overwatch. I Commander. Overwatch. Ooh, Shh. would you be behind the blue truck by chance? Now, I kind of need Cyrus to move first because that'll keep Ostrowski's rockets available to us now. in case we find something which doesn't appear to be happening Roger that I'm on it. so I'll get these two guys up to the truck if we find something then we still have the rocket heading to that location all right interesting no dice just yet. I'm rolling. I'm on it, Commander. Roger that. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you? You hear that? I swear. Oh yeah. Enemy okay. Hello. 
way that just happened. Kind of have a few guys out of position here, but. There you go. Pistol bullet right in the pooper. Now, I don't suppose. Yeah, it's a little far. We can see one. I really don't like where we've trapped our guys here, but got it. Not much we can do. I'm going to have Miley go right. here. There we go. I feel, commander. Let's hunker down Dubois, and we'll overwatch Allegni. The only one they can see is Dubois. Imagine he'll shoot. Maybe not, because sometimes if you hunker down a full cover, they're like, ah, there's no point, and they move on. Didn't have a chance of getting the meld. Oh my god, really? That is scary. Okay, so there's six out there. He's still there. Moving. Let's, uh... Hunker down again. We're kind of pinned. We may even want to think about retreating and going another way, but... Roger that. Scanning. Let's just see if we can get them to make a poor decision. Oh, if you could just pop this one, that would be great, but he's got five health. Oh my shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's impressive. That is seriously impressive. That was a huge help. Now, we have one right here. Who's controlling one right over here. If I ran here, I could get him. He'd be flanked, but... I'm sure that that would be bad news. On the move. Yeah, see this guy. But then, if this guy comes through... Well, I don't think he's he'd be able to get right to us. He'd have to go here. We'd still be in cover. Let's go for it. Nice. That gets rid of one. I'll actually gets rid of two. <laughs> then, that lets me be a little bit riskier here. Let's, uh, let's down. run up here. Step this guy off. should be flanked. Oh, but he's he's got a buddy with him. But you know what? I'm okay with this. They're falling back. That is awesome. Okay. And we've done it mostly like Sans Rocket. Already there. That's without rockets, in case... That wasn't clear. Um, I want to put, yeah, She's let's dead. put her here. Oh, really? That is an interesting decision, considering how close we are to you. No longer Sleep a tight. Woo! Successful operation. Okay, so let's analyze. I botched the rocket shot. But I took out the shelves that I needed to get him in, to get Lamarck or uh, Lamarck. <laughs> get my playthroughs mixed up. To get um, Dubois in there to shoot the guy, and then we positioned on top. That worked out pretty well. And then I guess sometimes being aggressive is the best measure. It really is. Because being aggressive at the end there really helped us get that aiming angle shot, and then that flank to kill four sectoids and two shots. Awesome. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. Okay. That takes a solid effort. Dubois is promoted. That is great. 
We've got close and personal or executioner. Definitely close and personal. Definitely. Uh, it's kind of a weird build, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Training roulette. That's that's why I love it. You never know what you're gonna get. And uh, we also got full cover bonus that we can give out. We will be in touch, Commander. So now we've got we've got panic all over the place. Um, which is fine. South America can go. It's in our continent. Not too worried. If everything stays as it is right now, when we get our three satellites, we'll probably go United States, Argentina, Brazil. If everything stays the way it is right now. Okay, let's see where we're at. We're waiting for this to finish excavating, and then we can build power. Uh, I should maybe get... Oh, no, I can't do that just yet. Right. What are we researching? Experimental warfare. I think... I think we're okay right now. We can't get about a metal here. Now, do these stack? Because if they do... Oh, no, they don't. Okay. So, full cover. Hmm. Any of them would do well, to be honest, but... I think I might save it for somebody that gets uh, low profile. We'll just hang on to it for now. But Dubois now has a nickname. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna change it, because Geronimo I don't like. We're gonna call him... Frenchy. There we go. Okay. Titanic's still out for a couple of days. That's fine. I guess we're just kind of waiting. Alright. That's done. Foundry available. Reaper rounds. Flashbang. And Phoenix cannons. I'm, I've never really... I, I still can't wrap my head around Reaper rounds for some reason. Uh, we'll go in and read the thing, but... Makes it less accurate at long range. Not work on pistols. So, I think what it actually does is, like, doubles your range penalty. Um, but whereas, like, a sniper doesn't have a, a range penalty, the, the range actually helps. But, like, things like, uh, you know, assault rifles or shotguns, obviously... Um, changes things. So, if you were to put it on a sniper, it should be okay. It's just that it reads a bit funny. Now, we've got alien materials, beam weapons. I think we're gonna go xenobiology, because I believe that gets us the I arc thrower, which we really need. I expected that would be a priority need. research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. One day, until the excavation's done. There we go. Uh, we could build... We could excavate here. Get the power going here. That'll take a few days. Okay. Um... Four Reaper rounds for 165 credits. Let's do the math. Reaper rounds cost 21. Yeah, okay. So we'll essentially double our money. Like, these guys should just learn how to build them themselves. But, uh, it's all good. Okay. Okay. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. We'll have another satellite popping out in one day. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. Power generator. Power generator complete. Okay, so now, a couple of things that we can do. It's not a lot of power. God, that hurts. I should e almost even build two. But I can get to the thermo generator like very soon. 
Let's see, what do we need? We need the officer training school. And we need the foundry. That would take up all of our power. But, and then I'd be actually stuck. So we're only going to be able to build one because this is going to take two power. I think what we're going to do is get the officer training school up and going. I'll put it over here. Well, it's not really going to matter because we're just going to build thermo next, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, you know what? We might not. So that might take... That might delay things a little longer than I anticipate. Whereas a generator is only $60 and we earned... Six, well, credits. We earned 60 credits by selling Reaper rounds. Um, but let's get the officer training school up and running. If we build another power generator... We would get an adjacency bonus. I think we're going to do this. Comes up in five days. That lets us... <clears throat> because if we... We have to excavate this. Then we have to build it. Uh, this is going to get us to... The foundry a little bit quicker. So, I'm okay with this. I think this works. Xenobiology in three. Uplink in four. Oops. Okay. Construct the alien containment facility, research arc thrower, build arc thrower, capture alien. Yes, okay. Now. Oh, I really would like to get the arc thrower, like now. Um, but 21 days. Well. Am I really going to use a nanofiber vest? Probably not. But I might use meld. So let's grab Meld first. Or, wait a second. Oh, these are 14 days. Oh, but these are going to be instant right away. Which, I think if we research the sectoid, if we do a sectoid autopsy, I think that increases the speed of researching the arc thrower. For now, let's go into Meld. Okay, satellite uplink in two days. Satellite uplink complete. Beautiful. We're right before the end of the month. And now we can, um, we can grab United States. $180 a month as well. Not to mention. Satellite launched. And then we've got Argentina. Satellite launched. And we're going to take Brazil. Satellite so, launched. some. Some people are going to wonder, well, why didn't you go to South Africa? And the reason I'm not going to South Africa is because they're going to leave. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Uh, they're going to leave, and that's... Uh, we're not going to get their extra $80 and en engineer per month. Uh, but it doesn't impact our continent bonus, so we picked Africa to begin. So we get that bonus no matter what, even if uh, the other ones... Even if they leave. So... Now we've got two bonuses. We've got the South America bonus. We've got the Africa bonus. And we're on our way to getting the North America bonus, which would be great. This is going to be tough to keep as well. But now that we're in a decent position from a satellite uplink perspective, we can probably just build another one and build three or four more satellites. And I think we're going to be okay. Um, I could have went to South America so that we just don't lose any but I think this is the smarter move um, overall. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> now that we have those there, let's actually um, change our research project. We'll do these ones instantly. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid. Based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Absolutely does. Okay. Uplink targeting aim available. Oh, maybe it's the um, interrogation that gives us the bonus. Okay, but those are good too. That really does help us. Uh, let's do the Thin Man. 
The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. I like that. Okay, gas grenade and muscle fiber density available in the gene lab. Very cool. Gas grenade's something I don't find a ton of value in. I would rather have the, um... I think we're gonna go back into Mel. It's just a little too long. Well, we're gonna get some extra scientists. I could build a laboratory to speed that up a little bit. Let's go into Meld for now. Where are we at here? Two days left. All right. Council report in two days. Incoming transmission. It went pretty well. We're, we lost Commander, the one place, but unfortunately, one of that's our not members that big of a deal. has chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. So we got a bunch of credits, some scientists, Excellent some engineers. Work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We, we have hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. These things are so expensive, Remember, but they're kind of necessary. We will be watching. I am going to build two in each place. Um And we'll also the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So we're going to need six of these. And I'm going to build a bunch of these because I always run out of them. Let's build those. We need to get a couple more satellites going. I'm going to get three going. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. You're probably right. And let's see. So the the lift is going to finish. Let's grab that. Lift operational. Did the power finish? Oh, it will right away. Actually, hold on. Before we do that. I need funds. Um, for now, I hate doing this, but... The flight computer can go. And... Yeah, see, we just need that one. That's going to open up three slots over here. So I'm going to leave it. This is going to be our power. We need an other, another uplink to go here. Power generator complete. Oh, boom! Awesome trading school. Okay, now. Uh, sweat work. Yeah, see, both of these we really need badly. But we're out of cash. And the only way I could get there would be to sell my power source, which is fine. Let's get rid of it. We'll sell some alloys and some weapon fragments. We'll find a bunch of these for a while, but I can't really afford to sell too much more than this. Um... Now, wet work, I think we're going to go into wet work first, because the experience gain is very, very good. And then we'll go into iron will next. Let's equip these. As long as we don't have 
a UFO come at us here within the next 24 hours, we should be okay. Here's the meld. Let's watch this one because it's pretty awesome. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Sick. Super cool. Okay. Satellite coverage now available over the United States. Now, in order to do that, yeah, see... All sorts of stuff going on here. Um, we did get some meld though, which is nice. Depth reception, bone marrow, pupils, mech one warden, uh, genetics lab, and cybernetics lab. So, in order to do that, uh, now I think instead of alien materials, I think I'm gonna beeline it to arc throwers. I think I'm gonna do that. It's tempting to even just go beam weapons, but we need an arc for I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. We're really tight on funds. Commander, Whoa. we've got another contact. <laughs> just in time. This time just in time. Okay, good thing, because uh, it's a little bit bigger, as he said. So, let's scramble. I'll have to watch, see if we need to abort. Bangs out. But we do have aim. Closing on target. Nice! Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. So this is gonna give us a bunch of resources, which is gonna help. Uh let's see. Let's let's take everybody out here. I need a clean palette to figure out who's coming. Ostrowski's definitely coming. And Miley is definitely coming out. So there's our two heavies with three rockets. Uh let's go into that one. And then I think Dubois has to come as well. I like I like that he's got close and personal for you know, a potential three shots. Or not three shots, he'd have two shots right now. Uh, we don't have rapid fire yet. I'm just super used to that. <laughs> and then, I'm thinking, we have so many snipers, it's like... What are, what should we do here? We've got a smoke grenade, which could come in handy. Aim of 72. Um, Allegni has 80 aim. Uh, Titanic, though... He was like our main dude. Oh, he's, he, I don't know, Titanic. You might not see action for a bit. Daryl Dixon, 77. And then he's got, uh... Oh, Sochi, right. His will, <laughs> his will goes up with the different nationalities. That's what that was. So yeah, you know what? We gotta take a Legny, I think. Cause her aim is really, really good and that's, she's very close to a promotion. So same same crew as last time. Uh, between Ostrowski and Dubois. I think Dubois is going to lead. Here you go. 
and we'll put Miley in. This is what we're going to have to do. All right, so we'll see you guys next time.